Late Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning, we are going to be seeing that marine layer return at the coast. You can see it's still offshore. Actually brought our marine layer in pretty far early this morning, and those clouds really stuck around during the day on Tuesday, and that's why temperatures really didn't warm too much. Now that low pressure that has brought us Brought us actually one thunderstorm, kind of weakened as it hit Lakeview yesterday evening. But this th chance for thunderstorms is now pushing off to the east and expecting to see severe weather. All the ingredients are really coming together with that little low pressure system that really just didn't bring us much. We did see a few winds pick up, bringing severe thunderstorm watch boxes to portions of the northern states. This system is going to continue to push off to the east, bringing more severe weather. That chance for th uh, not only tornadoes, but small hail, large hail and strong winds. On the other side of the coast, though, we're really not going to be seeing that. Cooler temperatures is what we're going to be dealing with. Wednesday and Thursday, this low is going to be sitting over our area, and that is going to be the cooler day. Thursday will be, in fact, the coolest day of the week so far, the coolest day of the last several weeks, in fact unseasonably cool, 5 to 10 degrees below normal. Then an upper level low is going to be replacing this one, and that will bring us that chance for thunderstorms as we head into Father's Day, late afternoon and evening. Now, any thunderstorms that develop on Thurs on Sunday rather are going to be dry lightning thunderstorms. Really not expecting a lot of precipitation with any of those thunderstorms. Monday, we could be seeing more rain showers, and then also that chance for thunderstorms. So something to keep in mind for your Monday plans, we could be dealing with some light rain. And Coos and Douglas counties, including the areas, areas of the Northern Cascades, could see a few very light showers Wednesday and Thursday as well. Fire danger level at moderate, something to keep in mind since thunderstorms are in the forecast, but we're really not even into the peak of our wildfire season. Here's an outlook for our wildfire potential for the summer months. June, which we're in right now, we're not either above or below normal. That all changes as we head into July. That red inches up into Oregon actually covers all of Oregon, even into areas of Idaho. Above normal for our widespread large wildfire potential. That's what this outlook is. And in August, even more so. So July and August, if you've lived here for long, you know that that is the peak of our wildfire season, and that is what it's looking like we're going to be dealing with again this year. At the coast for tomorrow, breezy. We'll see some clouds and fog in the morning, and eh, periods of sunshine in the afternoon. In the mountains, mostly cloudy in the morning, becoming partly cloudy. Could see that potential for isolated thunderst or excuse me, isolated light showers. Really, anything that falls tomorrow will be more of a sprinkle. In the basin, breezy again and cool. Temperatures in the low to mid 60s. Add that breeze on top of it. It's going to be feeling pretty chilly tomorrow. Northern California, partly cloudy in the morning, becoming mostly sunny. Pleasant in the way of temperatures. Also fairly pleasant in the Rogue Valley. Ashland, struggling to get into the 70s tomorrow. At the coast, breezy the next couple of days. Thursday is a better chance to see some light showers than Wednesday. And then we're going to be seeing more sunshine on Friday. Dem temperatures jump about 5 to 10 degrees from Thursday to Friday. And then we cool again next weekend as another low pressure brings us that chance for thunderstorms. Once again, Sunday th thunderstorms will be more of a dry lightning, dry thunderstorm event. And then on Monday, a better chance for rain showers. Tuesday, not expecting thunderstorms, but we could see some light rain showers.